The universe works in mysterious ways. We've all watched as bad things happen to good people or good things happen to bad people seemingly without reason. It never seems fair, but sometimes the wheel turns and people who made terrible choices are served the most unusual and satisfying forms of justice you could imagine. Ready to take a look? Let's get it on! You always need to be careful about the way you say things. For example, if you're doing something obviously dumb and you want to defend your actions with no facts, maybe don't say it with too much confidence, especially not if you're on live TV like these two. The universe will bite you. In case you're wondering, they claimed that the heaps of snow falling all around them made for the perfect jogging weather. It's the perfect texture for running, very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. Even though everyone knows it's not. So the universe quickly corrected the balance before any naive viewers took their word for it and tried out running in the middle of a snow-covered road for themselves. Sometimes it's okay to show off a little. If you achieve something amazing, you deserve to celebrate yourself. But be careful how much you strut, because when showing off turns into arrogance, you might just be getting yourself into trouble, as this guy found out. He was just offering himself up for a little humiliation. If he was a normal person, he would know the cost of fixing expensive things, and he would never have thought to touch that car with anything other than an equally expensive rag. He gave the world a gift, really. People love laughing at those who have nice toys. My question is, what the hell? I seriously shouldn't have to say this, but I will. Don't steal things. If you're thinking of stealing, I have some advice for you. Nobody likes thieves. You're bound to mess up and nobody will have sympathy. Don't believe me? Take a look at this guy getting the biggest wedgie of his life. He hung himself up like a piece of meat right in front of the cops. He had no hope and everyone loves it. See what I mean? Not an ounce of sympathy. Everyone is just joyously laughing at his embarrassment. You won't get away with crime, kids. It's best not to take things for granted. You might be able to get a lot out of something, but don't milk it. Everything has its limit. This boy's first mistake was trying to look cool, but his biggest mistake was trying to take advantage of his new phone cover. There's no way that cover ever claimed to be able to protect his phone, even if he hits it with a hammer. <laughs> At most, it would have claimed to be shock resistant, but anyone who's ever used a hammer on a nail will tell you that it's more powerful than just dropping something. He knows that now. Unfortunately, people often do horrible things, but sometimes they're immediately punished. In Japan, some people take part in a questionable pastime. They eat live octopus. They don't seem to know that it's really dangerous, and not just for the octopus. This girl got off lightly, actually. Far worse things have happened to other people. Never underestimate the power of nature. Animals have abilities we could never dream of, and they can use them to mess up your face. <laughs> As an adult, you have to take responsibility for your actions, even if it's just to avoid the moment the universe decides to teach you a lesson in a powerful way. This guy made a mistake. Then he decided to take out his frustrations on his perfectly innocent skateboard. We'll never know why, it obviously wasn't the board's fault and nobody even seemed to notice anyway. What he does to that skateboard is a serious overreaction. We'll never know if it was the universe or the board that dished out this justice, but it's pretty spectacular. There are some phrases that you can't avoid in life, like patience is a virtue. It's the kind of thing grandparents say to young kids. Nobody takes these life lessons seriously enough, but you really should. You never know when your impatience is going to be punished, but this girl will tell you it's always worse than you think. She should never have tried to kick a key into a lock clearly blocked with ice. It was always going to be her key that breaks instead of the ice. If you're dumb enough to steal someone's laptop, the least you can do is check that they're not a computer genius. This guy didn't bother to find out, and look what happened to him. He stole his laptop from Mark Bao, a viral mastermind if you can call him that. Basically, Bao knew how to access the files of his stolen laptop from another computer via a remote access software he'd installed. But better than stumbling across any work-related file or photo was this video. In the ultimate revenge, Mark uploaded it to YouTube for the world to see. It's like the thief made the video just to make Make himself look even more dumb. You know all the intense planning you always have to watch in the middle of a heist movie? It's there for a reason. The key to a successful heist is information. This guy made the mistake of thinking he didn't need information. The plan was simple. Just put on the gold chain and run away before anyone can catch you. But he was missing a vital piece of intel. Lots of jewelry stores have doors that lock automatically. If he'd known that, he would never have been forced to give the chain back like a naughty child who had to apologize to his mom, which is actually even worse than getting arrested.
We all have moments where pride gets the better of us, and we start insisting that we don't need help, even though we clearly do. This video shows the worst possible moment for pride to kick in. There's no good reason to try to wheel someone's expensive, brand new appliance up a drive all on their own without just waiting for their colleague to come help. It would have meant standing still for about, uh, three seconds? Surely anyone can afford to wait that long. On the bright side, he'll never try that again after causing this disaster. Sometimes people do such weird things that the whole world stops to wonder what were they thinking? This girl is the queen of those people. Why would she try to sit on a garbage can in the first place? Why did she do it like she thought it would make her look cool? And if she wanted to sit on a garbage can, why would she choose one that spins? These are questions that we'll never know the answer to, but at least we know what kind of consequences there are for those things. All thieves deserve any kind of universal justice that can be dished out to them, especially if that justice is also something that gives the rest of us a good laugh. The owner of this store was tired of being burgled, so he decided to set a clever trap to catch anyone who thought of breaking in. Now he didn't need to worry if a thief found a way to get into his locked store because they wouldn't be able to get out. It was at this moment that he knew. This guy picked on the wrong store. Watching his useless attempts to escape the Hall of Justice has got to be the best form of entertainment ever. I'll bet there are loads of you watching this who've dropped coffee all over their laptop, but we just never learned that you need to check where you're putting your cup when you're near expensive machinery. And no, it doesn't matter how expensive. You can be standing next to the most expensive machine you can get, like this Rolls Royce, and you'll still manage to put your cup in exactly the wrong place and it will definitely spill all over everything. Those are just the laws of nature and we need to accept them. We all know that fire is exciting. People don't care how dangerous it is, we just love it. So it can be tempting to use it to attract customers to your restaurant like moths to a flame. But before you try that, take a moment to remember that we design machines so we have something logical that will stop us from making poor life choices. The expensive fire system that was installed in this guy's restaurant knows fires need to be put out, so it puts it out regardless of who's playing with it or why. It's a flawless system. <laughs> Just so you're prepared, I'll tell you now that you'll never understand what's happening in this video, but don't worry, you'll love it. Why would this man feel the need to attack a traffic light? It's anyone's guess, but it doesn't matter. You already know it's an overreaction. Luckily, that traffic light doesn't like temper tantrums. It taught this man a valuable lesson that will definitely improve the lives of everyone who has to live with him. Children can sometimes get away with throwing temper tantrums, even though nobody around them likes it. But people who take that annoying habit with them into adulthood usually find themselves in trouble with the universe. Here's the perfect example. This coach was immediately punished for an adult tantrum by falling over while kicking a ball. It's gotta be the most humiliating way for a football coach to fall over, even worse than falling over nothing. Still, we're allowed to laugh at him because he clearly deserved that. Just make sure you never make the same mistake. Oh. 